Helpless and temporarily abandoned on this almost mystical white frozen world, a baby harp seal calls for his mom in a voice that sounds eerily human. Mama Seal isn't too far away, popping her head out of a breathing hole to see what her pup wants, while I stand back for a moment, recalling the warning never to get between an adult mother harp seal, who can weigh up to 300 pounds, and her pup. Here on the frozen ice flows of the Gulf of St. Lawrence, the waters just off Canada's Magdalen Islands, tourists dressed in fluorescent orange life suits walk the grounds, taking in these few minutes of magic. Photographers travel thousands of miles to capture their close encounters with a baby harp seal. Sometimes the pups don't want to be touched. But we don't have to feel with our hands to be touched ourselves by arguably the most beautiful animals on the planet, with their doe-sized, glassy black eyes and impossibly white, fluffy fur. And that is precisely why the story of the baby harp seal is so tragic. For three weeks during the months of February and March, thousands of seals will come here to the Gulf of St. Lawrence to give birth. And this whole area turns into a giant floating nursery, but unfortunately, a third of the baby seals, according to some estimates, will actually end up victims to the hunt. Those estimates come from the International Fund for Animal Welfare, and the Canadian government just announced last week a hunt quota of 325,000 seals for this year. Earlier in the month, Paul McCartney, accompanied by his wife, were photographed on the ice floes, bringing attention to the seal hunt and calling it a stain on the character of the Canadian people. He's going to be clubbed to death in the next few weeks. But not everyone is against the hunt. I'm not against the hunt either. Including this man who is my constant companion on the ice. Does this ever get old for you? I know. No, every trip is as good as the first one and better. And I, every trip I see something new. Ward works for Natural Habitat Adventures, a Colorado-based travel company that has organized this six-day photo tour. No one knows this frigid world better than him. He's a native of these parts and approximately 20 years ago, he was a hunter. Do you ever look at them and, and think, you know, man, I regret what I did before, that I regret oh, yeah, having I definitely, for sure, once you, know, once you start working around this nature, it's things, you know, it's like your own children. Ward says he isn't against the hunt. It's a part of their income, it feeds their families. But says he is against cruelty. But when I ask him how you can hunt in a non-cruel way, he falters. I think when people see the pictures, they just assume that any way you kill one of these babies has to be cruel. Is there a way to not do it? Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into that. It is Ward's job to test the ice with a steel rod before the guests exit the chopper to make sure it can hold our weight. But before we can even test the frozen water of the Atlantic Ocean, our trip begins with a safety demonstration in a hangar. Jennifer, Lynn, and John. You're in Williams helicopter. Then we suit up in these bright orange jumpsuits that will keep us warm, though not dry. This is an extra, extra small, right? This is just a small. And finally, we get into the Bell Long Ranger helicopter, flying for an hour over sheets of ice on the way to the Magdalen Island. We land wherever we find seals, today 12 miles offshore. The adults scatter into the water when they spot us overhead, but the babies called white coats at this age, which is a little over one week old, stay on land. Hunting white coats has been illegal for commercial purposes since 1987, but once this pup begins to shed his coat, he's fair game. Most seals will be killed between the ages of two weeks and three months. Natural Habitat Adventures was founded by IFAW to raise awareness about the plight of the seals, hoping the allure of the tourism dollar will entice hunters to put down their clubs and become guides, and also hoping in the end, public outcry after hearing these cries and seeing these eyes will eventually help put an end to the commercial slaughter of baby seals.